Derek Harlick and in this video we'll be looking at some of the built-in tools supplied with Magento to allow you to be more flexible with your product pricing depending on the customer who's visiting your store. So we're going to start off with looking at how we can individually price products. So I already have um, a demo store open and I already have my admin tool open. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at a specific product in the store. So we're going to have a look at this Twister Beach towel here. So let's have a look. So the towel is priced at £25.99 and what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to offer this at a lower price for customers who we have marked as VIP customers. And these are done in customer groups and we'll cover how you set up customer groups in a separate video. So the method I'm going to use is to set up the price against the product. So to do this we need to find this product in the admin tool. So I go back to my admin tool under catalog look under manage products and this lists all the products that I have in my store so I could scroll through and try and find the product but I'm going to use the filter here and just filter it down to any product that includes towel in the name so I type in towel and hit search okay so there is my twister beach town so let's have a look at it so I click through and here we have our usual definition of setting up a product. The tab I'm interested in is the second tab down on the on the left which is prices. So we already had a, have a group called VIP and here we have the standard price for the product which is $25.99 so that ties in with what's on the front and the site. So what we have here as well is grouped price. So I'm going to add value to grouped price so I just click add grouped price and that gives me a new line here where I can enter some data. So under the customer group I have a list of the various customer groups that are available to me. So I'm going to select VIP customer or VIP group rather. And in here I'm going to put the price. So I want VIP customers to be able to get this product for £19.99 so they'd be saving £6. Okay let's save this and have a look at what's happening on the front end of the site. Okay, so that product's now saved. So on the front end of my site, have a look at the product here and refresh. And you'll notice that nothing's happened. And that's because we're currently not logged in. So what I need to do is I need to log in as a user who is assigned to the VIP group. Now I have already set up a user for this and we will look at how, we, how you do that in a separate, uh, separate video. So I'll hit login, put in the details, so it's my email address and my password and I hit login. Okay, I am now logged in as that user. So now if I go back to the product, you'll see now against the product there is a special price of $19.99 and that is only available to me, this user who is assigned to the VIP customer group. If I log back out and then go back and have a look at that product, you'll see that the price has now reverted back to $25.99 or the special price is no longer available. Okay, so what else can we do with these uh, these groups? So let's go back to our beach towel on the, on the back end and have a look what else we can do. So under pricing, you'll notice about halfway down we have tiered price and this allows us to have different pricing depending on the number of products that you buy in one transaction. So I'm going to allow my v VIPs that if they buy two towels in one transaction then they will get them for $18.99 each. So let's try that. So specifically what the VIP groups we say if they buy two or more towels the price they get them for is £18.99. And I'm going to add another tier as well. And I'm going to say if they buy five or more, they're going to get those for £16.99. Let's save that and see what happens. So once again, I go to the front end of my site. Again, I'm not logged in. So if I refresh, there will be no change to this particular page. Now if I log in again as me,
you'll now see that we've, again we've got our special price here and you'll now see these tiered prices here uh, and we've got buy two for 18.99 save six percent buy five for 16.99 save 16 percent okay the idea here is here is that you want to try and encourage someone who may be wanting to buy multiples to maybe go up to the next next level to save that a little bit more right so let's uh, let's add one of these to the cart and see how this reacts okay so at the moment we've only got one item in here so that's priced at 19.99 if I put two items in and then hit update shopping cart You'll see we've got a subtotal of £37.98 and a unit price of £18.99 each. So already you're saving a pound per unit. Let's put that up to five units. And now you'll see that we have a unit price of £16.99. So there you have it. That's just a couple of ways for you to be able to modify your prices to match your customers. What is important to remember is if you are doing a price for a specific group, you need to have the visitor um, logged into an account and they need that visitor needs to be assigned to the group in the back end. If you take the VIP example, by offering special pricing to VIP customers you could be encouraging people to actually sign up and register an account with you and if they do sign up then you are obviously opening up more marketing opportunities and ways to engage with them. So it's just one of the many ways that you could keep your customers loyal and engaged and putting you above your competitors. So in summary, Group pricing allows you to tailor the visitor's shopping experience by having individual pricing based on what group a customer is in. Tiered pricing can encourage purchases of larger quantities and groups can also help with registrations on your store. There are many other things that we can do with groups and I'll be using some of these methods in additional videos to do with promotional tools, but I'll save that for a future video. Mm -hmm.